tell you that up until this point, we've been relatively, you might say, controlled atmosphere. After this, we have no control. out of the bed and you don't pay attention to what's sitting right there and that, that's the uh, you know when I say the misdirection yeah, here right, it works right. it works well these these creatures are going toward Terror Island Terror Island Horn Stalkers is set up in the Thunder Canyon cross and it, it's haste it's hay uh, horn stalks and all that and these guys look like if you, they blend right in without any trouble and then you see the creatures, and there's some that are dummies, and then there's some that are like this talent, and they'll and they'll come out and, and, and be able to scare and give the good startle uh, through the cornfield. Thanks, guys. I heard Robin mention a family-friendly side during the day. Camp Spooky is Camp Spooky. It gets closed down, then Carnival comes out. Um, basically, I get the luxury of designing the entire Halloween event. So all the uh, the haunted zones you'll see, a majority of the park decorating, uh, all the makeup I kind of oversee. We're doing 350 people in costumes and makeup a night for the different zones and the haunted house. Um, we have a, a, a really talented crew of makeup artists that we use. A majority of them come back every year. And they come from all over the state to come and do makeup here for us. So, Tomorrow night, we'll, you would see 350 people. Can you tell us about what you're doing? Well, we're just trying to make them look really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going to be in Fear Fair, mm -hmm. which okay. is the medieval. The medieval mm -hmm. Now, how long have you been doing makeup for Halloween events? Three years. Three years? My husband and I. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you guys enjoy it then? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're, it's play. You know, yeah. it's play. So much fun. So now on an average day, how many masks are you working on? During the season? I don't, how many will we be doing a day? 20, 30? I'm guessing probably about A majority of our outside talent get these prosthetics. They're foam latex. They're all produced at our sister park, Ponts Berry Farm in California. They're all painted here specifically for each of the monsters. They all get glued directly onto their face. They have articulating jaws with the lower portion. And so each monster has their identity. We try to keep those intact for them from year to year so when they come back, they can still be the snake guy or the cat person or whatever. So we coordinate with the costume department the coloration of the mask, the wig that they'll get, the hat, that everything gets assigned to them. Uh, vampires will get the, the new quote unquote sexy vampire look. So they get the pale skin, the red eyes. And we're trying to keep up with the times on the vampires. They seem to be quite a hot topic right now. So. 